Hi Vinyl Community, uh, I'm back again. I haven't, I haven't done a recent fine video for a few weeks, um, basically because I haven't bought very, very much stuff in the last few weeks. But I've got a little bit to show you. Well, I've got to start off tonight with a massive, massive thank you uh, for Miko from Finland uh, for a couple of records he sent me. I'm gonna, I'll put a link in my uh, in the description to this video uh, to Miko's YouTube channel. Um, I believe that Miko, you've just shot your first VC video because that's I read that on Facebook. Uh, I think that's correct. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, massive thank you to Miko because he emailed me to say he's sending me some some stuff and uh, I got it. It took me a couple of weeks to make this video. I apologise for that Miko, I've been really really busy uh, but tonight I thought well, I'm going to do it. The first record Miko sent me was this Gillen is Heavy Rock. Uh, I'm a big Ian Gillen fan, I think he's one of the top three rock singers of all time. Uh, in, his, in, his, in his prime I think he was absolutely awesome. Um, this is a sort of compilation, uh, I think it is. Um, I certainly haven't got it, Miko, so that's absolutely brilliant. And it's got my favourite um, Gillen uh, song on, which is Unchain Your Brain. Um, fantastic, thanks so much. Um, the second album uh, you're listening to right now, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce the name of this album or, or the band. Um, it's a, I believe it's a Finnish band, uh, Miko, you can correct me if I'm wrong, um, but it's a Black Sabbath tribute band and uh, oh god they're absolutely awesome. This is Neon Knights playing at the moment uh, and it's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I've played it to death, Miko, since he sent it me, thanks so much. Uh, it's brand new, uh, it comes in a limited edition. I don't know of how many, but it's number, uh, this particular one is number 202, so that's absolutely awesome. Mikko, I've got something I want to send you, mate, I'll, I'll, I'll email you about this anyway. I've still got the the box that you sent it in, and you've got your address on it, but there's a couple of things I can't quite make out on it, and I'd hate, I'd hate to send you something to get lost. So uh, if you can send me your address, again, that'd be great. Um, I've got a couple of 10-inch singles here. Uh, this is Catherine Wheel, uh, and I knew nothing about this band, but I saw it in a in a bargain bucket. Uh, it's a limited edition. It's number two nine two six. I haven't even listened to it yet. Might be a load of rubbish. This is not a load of rubbish. I've been after this one for ages, all over the world. Try again. All over the world. Uh, by ELO. Uh, this is reasonably rare, it's a 10 inch single um, and I've seen two on eBay in the last few months, both for 25 quid, uh, which is ridiculous. But I've picked this, picked this up for three pounds. Uh, as you can see it's on blue vinyl, it's a 10 inch single, it's got the super wide label and it's it looks, I think it looks phenomenal. Uh, absolutely love it. Uh, absolute bargain. Um, I've ordered from What Records in the UK um, an ELO album uh, on, on blue vinyl. So that's on its way to me. This is uh, Flyback by T Rex. And I only paid, I think I paid two quid for this. From Rise Records in Worcester, they've got a little, they've got a little second-hand section, and uh, I think I paid two pounds for that. I need an opti thing, so that's cool. Um, this is uh, Animals by Pink Floyd. Uh, not my favourite Floyd album, uh, but it's okay. Uh, it's not, it's not an early pressing, but it was reasonably cheap. Um, this is uh, Janis Joplin in concert. Pick this up from my local second hand shop. I've got a feeling I've already shown that but I don't think I have. Uh, I'd also got a series Deja Vu that I'd already shown this one as well. Um, I'll just slip it out of its cover. 
Uh, I was made for loving by Kiss, but I couldn't see that I'd shown it. Um, so there you are. One for LJ. Uh, this is um, Alice Cooper. Hey, stupid. Picture disc. And as you can see, I got that in my in the two for five pounds section. Uh, my local Lies record shop. Uh, this is one of the worst records that I own. Um, I bought this at the same time as the other Floyd. A source full of secrets, and uh, we had one of the longest Facebook discussions about this the day I bought it. Uh, because I posted a message, something along the lines of, um, I've just bought this, I've listened to it, and um, I've gone out and bought some lighter fluid and a box of matches, because that's what I think it's worth. Absolutely awful album. Again, I've got an idea I've already shown this, but if I have, I apologise. It's Queen's Royce, dedicated to Chaos, their latest album. This is The Ultimate Sin by Ozzy Osbourne. Again, if I've shown this, I apologise, but I couldn't see. It's been so long since I've shown anything, and but I'm, I looked at my last couple of videos and I couldn't see it, but if I have, I'm sorry. Uh, I haven't shown this because it only came last week. This is Defenders of the Faith, Judas Priest, uh, Back on Black reissue. Brand new, mint, double album, tenor. Can't beat it. Uh, I bought this today. It's uh, Fun House by the Stooges. Oops, he says, and I nearly can't find out. Pick this up from Rise Records. Um, it's on the Electra label. Uh, it's got a lovely glossy gatefold sleeve and uh, it cost 13 quid. I thought it was a reasonable buy. Um, last one today. This isn't a recent find. I, I, I bought this um, probably three or four months ago. But I didn't show it for the simple reason that I thought I wasn't going to keep it. I thought I'm going to get rid of it so I won't bother showing it. But I have decided to keep it. Um, it's a fantastic pressing. It's by Music on Vinyl, which I believe is a Dutch company. And everything I've got on the Music on Vinyl is really good pressing. But I just wasn't keen on the album. Um, it's Perpendicular by Deep Purple. Uh, I'm a massive Purple fan, as a lot of people know, and I've got 94, 95 um, albums and 12 inch singles by them. Um, but this wasn't cheap, this was 22 quid. Cheapest I could find it. Um, and I just thought, for that sort of money, you've got to love it. Uh, I'm getting into it a bit more now, uh, to be fair. I think the cover's great. Um, it's just not brilliant. Uh, I believe, I think it was Steve Morse's first uh, album with Purple. Um, I might be wrong. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hang on to it. That's it guys. Um, I've got a couple of records on my way, um, but not, not an awful lot because I've had to slow right down because I've bought a couple of snare drums and got to save for my holidays and all this and the other. Hope everybody's well. Take care guys. <laughs>